Cold in Place Recycling is a paving and road reconstruction solution whose time has come. California is a little slow to adapt, and that's partly our fault for as contractors. We haven't provided the service and the, and the technology until recently. One of the, the things that people used to do that is when they used the, the train or tried to do in-place recycling, they didn't engineer it very well. So you would get like a hit and miss whether it would work. The, the way the techniques that we use now with completely engineering from the start does away with all that. So any product that ends up coming out now is a good quality product that rivals hot mix. Cold in-place recycling is much more cost effective than the traditional methods of mill and fill or fabric overlay rehabilitation techniques. I would say by far the best is that we're reusing existing resources so we're not having to import new um, aggregates, new asphalts. Pavement Recycling Systems has the equipment and the expertise to make cold in place recycling a valuable new option in pavement restoration. This technology has been around for quite some time but we put the pieces together to make it work. I mean, we have some innovations. We bought a, a central processing unit, which processes the wrap, which is, which is available throughout the United States. But we've tied it into with our own uh, coal planing machine. Uh, we've added some new features to it to make it more uh, efficient and make high, very high quality material so that you know, we've customized it to make sure that it's, it's running at its optimum and it gives the highest quality product that we possibly can make. Pavement Recycling Systems technological advancements in equipment and new chemistry with pavement binders are causing contractors and public officials to stop and take notice. Pavement Recycling Systems has utilized CIR in a number of road restoration projects, including Cathedral City, where two sections of old Highway 111 were restored using cold in place recycling. In addition to saving approximately 35 percent on construction and material costs, city officials found this method beneficial for a host of other important reasons. It's the smartest way to do it that, that we've found, and for a number of reasons. Environmentally, it's the safest. You don't have to haul off old material and find places to put it and cover all the environmental bases for that aspect of it. You get some environmental credits and also some financial credits and assistance sometimes if you use recycled materials. And frankly, we've discovered, especially with the base rock material like the product that we used on Palm Canyon, it lasts as long, if not longer, when properly done as uh, original materials brought in from a native source. The Cathedral City project utilized the pavement recycling system's CIR train of equipment to complete the project. It is a fairly straightforward technological solution consisting of a modified planer which tows a central processing plant and an emulsion filled tanker trailer behind. The process begins with the planer milling off approximately two to four inches of the distressed roadway. The asphalt millings are transferred into the central processing plant directly behind the planer where the millings are screened and crushed to a specified gradation. The crushed material is then transferred into the mixing chamber, where a prescribed amount of recycling emulsion is added and thoroughly blended. The recycled paving mix is deposited onto the roadway directly from the central processing plant. A standard paving machine with a windrow elevator lays the renewed pavement back down. Conventional steel drum and pneumatic rollers are utilized for the compaction process. Depending on the mix design, the roadway can be ready for traffic in as little as 90 minutes. Cathedral City officials, and business owners in particular, were ecstatic with the time element of cold in place recycling. They were extremely pleased with it. Um, it was something where they had uh, another technique uh, specified for the project or were considering another technique, and the time required to do that project was meeting with a lot of resistance with the businesses on State Highway 111. Our recommended process of CIR, or cold in place recycling, knocked it down to the businesses being closed literally for just two days, as opposed to I think at one point they were talking 14 to 21 days being closed. So that made everybody happy. In addition to its effectiveness as a road reconstruction tool, the pavement recycling system's CIR train caused quite a stir with local residents and tourists in Cathedral City. We had tourists stopping, pulling over and parking in the parking lots and then coming along the sidewalks and watching. We probably had a hundred or so tourists at each location every day. 